Okay. Oh man. So tonight was excellent and I I just got back to my home here um playing something about um Boulder Gates 3 and some other stuff. So I'm going to have to cover some things on that because there's some good things there that are worth mentioning going between culture and the church. Because you know, spirituality is apparently uh only either Japanese or something that, you know, doesn't really matter quote unquote whatever it, it the point being is a lot of stuff is not touched and is an untapped uh, market so to speak obviously you can try to make money off of it i don't know if that will actually work i don't know i think other people can make this work because of their stance is very traditional mine is not but not saying it's wrong but, you know, it is different. Um, there's other stuff, too. I need to talk about... Oh, where did my other phone go? I swear, this thing... I need, like, a holster for this. This thing keeps sliding all over. Ah, oh, okay. Where are you? Night sounds. I need to do a uh, video on night sounds. And it's excellent quality. I've been meaning to, but I keep forgetting to do so. That's, I'm not, yeah, Night Sounds with Bill Pierce. He passed away, and I wanted to do something that honors him, honors what he's done. Um, or just do something that remembers, remembers what he's done. He was led by God, and it was very amazing, but very quiet. Still small voice. Then he tried to pass that along and did a very good job. I love the program. Absolutely love it. And I wanted to try to, obviously not emulate it, but, you know, have that be a part of a theme some way, shape, or form. I just, I'll do what I can with my abilities and all that. Um, and obviously put God as a focus. Uh, Jesus, specifically, since I'm a Christian. But for those who are not Christians who follow me, hopefully some of what I can say can be translated in a way that is understandable. So yeah, good stuff all around. Wish I had more time, you know? But you only have so much time and you gotta work, gotta make money to go pay those bills and all that. Everything has an expense. Everything costs something. The best does not come free, usually. You know, being rescued is not something that usually happens. It is a theme of, with God and Christianity though, because of who we are and everything that's attached to us. There's a lot of wrong and evil stuff that is out there. And you know what? We're not always going to be able to save ourselves. Anyway, that being said, I'm very thankful for Joshua tonight with what he said at the men's group. The guy hit rock bottom, had his own story that he obviously hated, didn't like, and I will respect that. I will leave a lot of that alone. He said some things that I wrote down that I need to talk about just because they're good. Good quality stuff. Um, if they're not biblical, they are supported by what is biblical and they correlate with what is biblical. I will say that much, and that's a lot of good stuff. It's part of his personal testimony as well. Um, so, let me see here. I wrote down this. Joshua, okay. This is all by him. Uh, the, the last two things are not by him, though. Um, if you feed yourself with slash in sin, I will not feed you in the spirit. I do not remember if he said with or in. Uh, so I have to use both because I just don't remember. I wrote that down like a couple seconds afterwards and I'm, I'm still like not sure what I heard. We feed ourselves, our bodies, you know, with what we think we need and what we want. Junk food and good food alike. Um, obviously, I, I wanted a break so I had fast food earlier. Uh, slight update, um, when it comes down to like Nutri Systems, they only delivered one package to me that should have been two, but obviously some one of the packages went up to Maryland. So it went through North Carolina all the way up to Maryland. And we're like, they're like, all right, we're gonna give you like a $45 rebate um, because you only got one of those packages. I called literally yesterday, I was like, what's going on? I've been off of my diet for two weeks and I need to know what, what's part of this plan that you have set out. They failed me, and I feel like this diet is not even worth it. Anyway, moving on. Oh, I needed a break. Just 
I wanted something. <sighs> Moving on. Okay. So, more of what Joshua said here. The more you put yourself the more you put yourself into it, the more you screw it up. And the idea there is pretty simple. We try to force a lot of things to happen. We don't simply wait. We're not patient. We don't ask for guidance. We don't ask for God's help, God's timing. There's a lot where it's just like, we want to hear, we want to know. Uh, I'm a gamer. I know what that's like too. You know, modding support. Baldur's Gate 3, which is consent there. Yeah. Coincidentally, that uh, video that I was watching on YouTube by um, this YouTuber, um, he's blacklisted by uh, developers and stuff like that because um, he brings up a lot of awareness to a lot of issues. Um, he's talking about modding support for Baldur's Gate 3, a popular game right here, right now, that blew up in the past six months. Anyway. <sighs> so, trying to force stuff to happen good luck that's not really going to happen it's not going to be it's not going to end well now i will say this god likes to work on his own timetable most of the time i've found out that he has a sense of humor and he likes letting things happen in certain ways to kind of teach us lessons because patience is often learned the hard way we usually don't learn that any other way Having kids will kind of help you understand a little bit more about that. Now, he said something else, too, that is interesting. Be being led by the Spirit. And it took me, took me a little bit to think about that, and I'll still think about that, because in a way, I am being led by the Spirit. Um, the way I describe it, though, is steps being placed before me. I see those. I do. And I do try to be obedient, and I do try to follow that. Um, and I find it very interesting how it's I see it differently than him and other people that's not wrong but as sure as anything it, it, it takes a toll when you hear the whole you're wrong who knows how many times per day maybe obviously not in that way but being told that I'm wrong repeatedly over years of my life has taken a toll it is very refreshing to know that as tonight what I've learned and I'm very thankful that I realized it may not be that I am wrong, but that maybe there's more that I need to do that I'm not doing. There, there's inaccuracies, inconsistencies, failures, uh, mess ups, problems, obstacles and stuff in our lives. For me personally, it feels like there are obstacles um, in my life personally not like I'm stuck like I used to be and also the whole realization that maybe I'm not doing more of what I should be doing what I could be doing so with that I'll, I'll definitely be thinking more about that on on all of this getting into scripture is hard for me to do something I am not wanting to talk about publicly but that's partly not because I don't want to, but because I don't know how to talk about it. It's really as simple as that. Uh, one day, maybe I'll be able to talk about it, but until I can figure things out, I'm just going to have to say reading scripture is hard for me. Um, it's nice going to Bible study groups to and getting scripture there. I definitely appreciate that. Um, yeah, so moving on. I will say this, though. It is important to read scripture and... I do, I am able to read scripture, I just, I can't do it for myself, I can easily do it for others, I just can't do it for myself, <sighs> okay, don't go backwards, that's something that Joshua said multiple times that he believed God told him, which actually is something I, I can understand, I can't quite relate to that, but I do understand that, I, I used to be a heavy, like, I was a I was a big gamer. I used to be active, to move, to just constantly go, 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 go. Um, you could associate that with Call of Duty, you know? You get out there for the best position, you grab those weapons, you try to you try to make the big plays, you try to get all the kills and stuff. Um, yeah. 
it's like when I talked to my parents, I was like, what is rest and relaxation? And they're like, they laugh. They said, they don't know. Let us know when you find out. Um, yeah. Okay. So being busy and all that, that's, that's good. That's productive. There's a lot good and done right when you are active and being proactive. You're not being complacent. One, two, you're not being passive. Three, you're taking advantage of what's there. You're, you're making memories, you're making money, you're investing, you're using your time wisely. There's so many ways to describe this in different points. Obviously, financial is a big aspect of this life, this world. Everything has a cost. Everything of value has a cost. Oh, but going backwards, where does that fit into all this? Holding on to memories, one, two, holding on to people and stories number three i love stories when asked about my baseline it took me a minute to think about it. i was like well let me see here i was adopted i was uh, i am an army veteran two i'm a gamer uh three i love good stories anything with a good story and obviously it took me a long time to realize hey your life can be a story too what can you do to fill out your life? How can you make it be more, more enriching, more value? Like add more value to it to make it be more valuable. Things untested are not worth much. Oh my word, this is a lot of good stuff here. Um, trying to press forward though. Being led by the spirit, don't go backwards. Going backwards... I think in terms of like rest and relaxation where you just need to stop, you need to recover, that's important, but not talked about enough. Um, raising awareness to the fact that we need rest and relaxation is important. That's not the same as going backwards though. Obviously, safe places are places that you can and should rest in. Going backwards, um, not so much. I don't see that as a need unless you kind of messed up you went too far that's mostly focusing on directions and making wrong turns but whatever i don't know if that can be applied any other way um okay from safety to another place you're not familiar with he's saying that joshua was saying that in regards to how he believed god put him on a path to another place in conjunction with the whole, you know, don't go backwards. Those are all in quotation marks, too, with what he said. I try to be true with what he was saying. Very good quality stuff. And the thing is, it's very much like our lives. We go from a place of safety into the big open world. Um, I, it seems to me like that is not the norm any longer. and has not been for like 20 years because of broken families, broken marriages. Um... People making very unwise, unhealthy, and very poor decisions with like, ooh, I want you because you're hot, you're sexy, you got money, etc., etc. But it turns out they're actually like the worst people to ever be parents with. In fact, they're not parents and they never will be. And so they're left with a kid. Or worse, they're left with their kid taken from them. So it's like... What did you do? You just have a one night stand that you're now paying X amount of money for on a daily basis. You know, child support, alimony, whatever. Um, yeah, bad decisions all around, right? Um, oh, it's brutal. I am so glad I missed that. I am so glad that that's never happened to me. I just, oh, I thought it was a failure because I wasn't married, you know? That's not the case, but. That fear is always in the back of my mind like I was a failure in some way, shape, or form. Oh, me, Joshua, and some others, we ended up talking, and I definitely appreciate it. Because um, this stuff is like, it's hard to put together to make click, you know, like a puzzle or like something. Um, so I understand quite a bit, but putting it all together it took some time. I, I was able to ask some questions because the thing is, I noted that during a part where he said that he was just struggling he had hit the bottom i asked him about like how long he thought that time period was he said about six months and i made a note where it was like i'm seeing two things here 
there's the whole black pill aspect, nothing, the absence, stuff being removed from your life, you know, either by his bad, poor choices or the fact that God was trying to m remove obstacles from his life so that he could open his eyes and see where he was at and, and go follow God and, and try to go after God or just simply be obedient to God. Um, with with his story, with you know, with what he said about following God, with what he was saying, um, and why he's in a better position now. So it seems like he did a lot. <sighs> seems like he did. Not that he was wrong, not that he was lacking, that he just simply followed God's directions. Definitely truth there, for sure. Because maybe I'm, for me myself, maybe I'm not wrong. Maybe I'm not even off. Maybe I just need to do more with my life. Nothing like being told that, uh, yeah, you're messing up, you're wrong. Multiple times per day. Um, okay, per week, not per day. Thankfully, I have some good days, and I do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, like, there's a lot of stuff here, man. So, moving forward. Um, this is something said by someone else, too, or something that I picked up on Thoughts. I didn't put any name down next to it. God can't reach us if we have all this stuff in our lives. You know, if our lives are full, like, how is he ever going to talk to us? God will not force his, himself into our lives. Plain and simple. We have to pursue him if we want him. The thing is, how can God claim to be who he is if he just, you know, kind of forces himself in, into our lives? That's, you know what? Maybe I'll just label that, that as the, the video. The second thing is spirit of truth. Truth. Something that we need that apparently those in charge absolutely hate. That's why certain things are put in place. Censorship. Don't use certain words. Don't say this. Don't say that. Um, that's why certain things are just hard to obtain. Why certain things are just being op made obsolete. You know, fathers are going out of the picture. Churches are deviating from certain things, uh, largely with praise and worship, it seems, and the fact that there's no place for single men. Like, these things add up to the point where you start asking questions as far as, like, where's truth? Where is there a place for us to grow, to mature, to learn? Because we do need decent environments to learn and to grow and all that, to ask questions um, there's a lot that comes together under the spirit of truth. Discussion is just something that I happen to have some skills and something that I like. It matters. How? That may be up on an individual level. That could be, it could be more than that. I just know that people can come together uh, and have common ground or common interests, sure. And for the point for YouTube and this platform, my particular channel, there's less discussions there simply because people do not respond and they, they don't leave their thoughts and questions down below like I had hoped. But that's their prerogative and some people will leave stuff down below. I appreciate it. I would like to be more active and engaged, but maybe this is the wrong platform for that. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. Either way, telling my story, passing on what I've learned, talking more about dream. My life is full of things that are interesting, hard to explain. Testimonies, stories, memories, people. My life is very full in that regards. I don't need to have my life be constantly a 24-7 drama show. Don't get me wrong, I think we need drama for di different reasons, and I won't go into it. I'll just say, I think there's a place for even that. Oh, the last thing I'll leave on is a thought where we ended up talking about certain things and talking about, um, how do I phrase it? You know what? I will, that goes in a different direction. I'll leave it be. Um, yeah, that's it. It's like 20 minutes long and hit pretty much everything that I need to do. 
Uh, the Bible verse, let me see about the Bible verse real quick here. Um, it ties in with some of the stuff. Where are we? Bookmarks. But if you were guided and led by a spirit, you are not subject to the law. That ties in with the spirit of truth part. Yeah. That's important, man. That is so important. It's not even funny. However, keep in mind, the laws are for, supposed to be for our protection, not to, like, hide stuff in the dark, you know, cover up illegal activities. It's not designed to be, like, benefit corporations, governments, and countries at the expense of the people. The people are what make up this stuff. Rules are supposed to be for our safety. Obviously, if you put time and money into something like, you know, your property, your company, you should have some protect protection for that. I'm not the one to put the finger on where's where and how to figure all this stuff out, but geez. It's just nice to know that when you follow God, you don't need to worry about legalities. The whole, you know, stuff that ties in with essentially the country and the law that, sorry, the countries that ties in with the laws of the country that you're living in. Boy. I know what to say. I just have trouble saying it. All right. Until next time. All right.